that up now? Okay. All right, now we're talking the top three. And with the top three comes trophies. And I also want to mention Valerie Corral's trophy, the Lifetime Achievement Award, was made by Mr. Gray and Pear. So we want to give a big shout out to that, Mr. Gray and Pear. Okay, number three. Number three is 44 Sugary. Well developed and intact trichomes, covered in crystals, a real sticky beauty, sweet pungentness that we all enjoy. Hella floral contender, no pretender, chocolate cheesecake with blueberry sauce, wow, delicious, complex smells of pear, cider, jasmine, fruit delicious, loosens up my jaw, fantastic full body electric eye, kills me the knees. Trophy coming up, third place, made by Reggae Rick. Woo, Reggae Rick, third place. Thank you, I wish my old man was here with me and to celebrate this time, we have found a, our baby out in the garden a half dead and we put the water to it and extra love and here I am, thank you. All right, number two. Okay, this is number two. And for if any reason number one fucks up next year, number two moves into that spot. I'm just kidding, I'm so kidding. Number two is number 12, Humble Royal Kush. A classic O-timer look, but slightly shaggy trim job. Smells like downtown office building just after the janitor left. <laughs> a, a melody of spice and musk with subtle, earthy undercurrents, a wasabi moment, introspective muscle relaxer, and really some of the best shit I've smoked this year. And we got a trophy. Where's our trophy? So, so the Royal Cross... Uh, we're, we really like it. Ends up, uh, I, when I looked in the, I just, it was given to me, and when I first grew the Royal Clone, I was like, oh, I didn't really know for sure. I actually had a, a, a guy, he's, he's around 60, he thought he had a brain hemorrhage the first time he smoked it. <laughs> first time we ever had that happen. So I was like, well, maybe we ought to think about it then. So we made some seeds of it, and it's doing real well for us this year. Excellent. Here we got a trophy. THC on that one was 22.25. Yeah. 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 And that trophy was made by Hitman Glassworks. Hitman Glassworks, thank you very much. And now, Miss Nikki will announce the number one place. Wait, wait, what's Eric? Didn't we talk about this before the show? Okay, are you ready for number one? The winner of this year's Emerald Cup, 2011. It goes to number 80, Green Crack. Yep, you know it. She's got a Hollywood trim job and hair like Maureen O'Hara. Tons of frosty crystals and cloudy trichomes with splashes of amber. This super frosty and firm beauty has hues of red, orange, yellow, and gold. There's a spicy dankness of lush and fruity sublime sweetness. An absolute jewel like a stroll through fields of fruit. I can feel it coming on. Okay, are you coming up? Come on, we know you're here. Someone here to collect uh, sample number 80, number one, number one. We want to really cheer. Ah, your THC on that one. Oh, thank you for asking. Very interesting. Your THC on this one is 18.8. Nice, very nice. But curiously, the CBD on this one 
was 4.53. So that had the highest CBD, I think, of anything, and a very, very, very good THC. Do we have a winner coming up? It made us feel real good. Oh, come on, we so much want to salute you. I'm sorry, the winner couldn't be here tonight. He's filming in New Zealand, and uh, they're here. You know what we're gonna do? You try to find them, and we're gonna, um, we actually have another award we could give right now while we try to get that winner. Is that okay? We actually have the Clean Green Certified uh, Environmental Award given by the Clean Green Certified Chris Van Hook. And uh, I think Chris is gonna come up and give that, and by that time, hopefully, we can get the winner for who won the Emerald Cup this year, if they're not too stoned, to come up on stage. It's in the back somewhere. Hey, I don't know who made it, but it's beautiful. Paraglass, so. Paraglass, Arcata, California. Paraglass, Arcata, California. <laughs> well, uh, usually the awards go to the top cannabis grower of a particular category, and this year I decided to do something a little different because uh, environmentalism and reducing carbon footprint and sustainability are the hot topics that they should be and they have been. And uh, every farmer that's responsible for their own farm safeguards their particular location, their particular farm. But it's only a few people that have the capability in this industry to, to set aside acres and to set aside numerous indoor and outdoor operations. Only a few entities are able to reduce the chemical usage in, uh, in cannabis growing and the pesticides and the, uh, that, that are used in the industry. And I've given it a lot of thought this year. And I think that the one entity that has invested more and led more in the reduction of chemical usage in cannabis is Harborside Health Centers in both San Jose and Oakland. And so they, they have, they've taken that jump. They've, we know that indoors really affected the market, but Harborside has invested heavily into the outdoor market again. We're glad to see them here, and I think, again, they're leading. So this trophy goes, in general, to the Harborsides of both Oakland and San Jose. In particular, in particular, this award goes to the buying departments of both of those. Those are the people that have to make the decisions quickly, day after day. They are the axle that that wheel revolves around. Bad decisions in the buying department is bad decisions, the whole wheel will fall down. Every time that they, they you know, lead or direct a grower into the Clean Green program, they're reducing chemical usage, they're reducing carbon footprint, whether it's indoor or outdoor. So this award goes in particular to the buying departments of both harbor site centers. But, but specifically, this award goes to the person that's trained them all. This is, goes to the guy that has led more and directed more people out of chemical use and into organic farming than anybody I know in the industry, and that's Rick Frommer. Rick, I'd like to, I'd like to, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, Chris. Congratulations. It's an honor to give it to him. Um, thank you, Chris. That's such an honor. I, you know, for anybody that doesn't know Chris Van Hook, uh, truly one of the good, great people in this industry. The work that he's done with Clean Green, the work he's done with Clean Green has helped legitimatize the industry so much. And yeah, it's just been amazing. So I know a lot of you can't see this, but this is the uh, beta test campaign for Harborside's new Sun Grown campaign. Um, and as Chris said, Harborside is making a major, major investment in Sun Grown cannabis um, as, as a long time. Mad, mad love from the Bay Area to the North Country. If it wasn't for the North Country, we wouldn't have what we have in the cannabis world these days. You know, you guys have been the heartbeat, you guys have been the soul, and it's time to return uh, sun-grown cannabis to its proper place in the bright light uh, and, and, and get market share back. I love you guys. I hope everybody in the buying departments of both harbor sites are proud of that award. Thank you. I think we have the winner. Here he is, Chuck. Hey, hey, everybody. The California sunshine and organic material. Eat as much cannabis, 
smoke as much cannabis as you possibly can because we're getting Fukushima-ized these days. And it's a good thing to protect your cells because your cells are what's gonna make the next generation. <laughs>